So you guys remember this place, right? Huh? The stuff? I uh, made a video here a while back about falling off one of these things. You guys see that? Accidental accident video. If you haven't seen it, you should uh, you should go back and watch it before you watch this one. And I gotta tell you, I uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. I really have, uh, and it's been difficult, honestly. It's been really difficult, several reasons. For one, you know, I mean, everything I do is just ridiculous, right? So, holy crap, look at this. Whoa, it's uh, almost everything I do is a joke. And uh, this this doesn't need to be a joke. There's some serious stuff going on about what I'm gonna talk about. And I need to be respectful and, and uh, you know, give give some reverence into, uh, to some parts of, of this video. And uh, I know you guys out there, you're like, hey man, I'm just here to watch you do stupid stuff and, and maybe hurt yourself. Well, <laughs> stay tuned. So uh, this over here, this should really look familiar to you guys. So this is this is really pretty wild stuff, actually. This area right here, actually, let me take it from this angle. I think this was the right angle. Um, you've seen this before. You're not seeing it from me, but you've seen it from a fellow writer, fellow vlogger, fellow moto vlogger. Um, and when you saw it, it looked a little different. It was over a year ago. And uh, wow, no one's been down here. It looks like in a long, long time. This isn't even freaking possible. Holy crap, man. I'm going to get stuck down here for sure. Whoa! There's no way. Look at this. Yeah, this used to be different. This used to be something that um, could actually be done on a motorcycle. Now this is, I might as well turn the bike off. I don't need the power. Look at this. Now I say I need the power. Ah, hit the horn. That's right, this is a street bike. I rode it out here. I hope I don't get it stuck. Because I'm looking for a long night on it. Oh. So, uh, Anyway, I'm gonna get to the point here in a minute if I ever if I ever can get physically to the point. <sighs> yeah, see this? <laughs> this has changed <laughs> quite a bit since the uh, video that I'm talking about. I swear to God, it's the same location though. It's the same exact location. Uh, it's just like I said, been a while. Oh, I just, I'm gonna get this thing so freaking stuck. Uh oh. Ah, oh, damn it. Am I gonna get ambulance out of the same place twice? Seriously? So, uh. Hold on, just a little bit further. Come on, bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me, YouTube. Come on! Come on! Holy shit! All the things I do for my viewers. Oh! You won't find somebody else trying this hard, will you? Oh! Just trying to make a stupid point. That's it. Oh, my boots cut. Holy crap. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Oh man, this stuff is stuck. It's so stuck in there. Come on. How this has changed in a year. Oh, well, are we almost to the point where I can show you yet? I think we are. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm on bike, I'll flip. All right, let me uh, finally, oh shit, show you what I was trying to show you. That sucker is stuck, man. <laughs> Look at that. It's a good place for rattlesnakes, isn't it? Holy crap. <laughs> Well, mine looks a little bit different. Can you guys see my phone? Let me take a picture of this. Hey, uh, <laughs> I just realized that uh, you guys also my password on my phone, just like you did in Sven's phone. He made the video right here a while back. Um, February last year, and it's not often you get to retrace the steps of a moto vlog legend, but not only that, it's not often that you start moto vlogging because you crash right next to where the guy rode. So it's a it's a bizarre coincidence to me, very bizarre. And, uh, you know, it gets even more bizarre, believe it or not. The day that uh, Sven rode out here and recorded this video, he, uh, he gave a shout-out to uh, a new motovlogger that uh, we all know, if you watched the other video, like I told you to earlier, He's the guy who uh, I discovered motovlogging from Accidental Broadcast. That's right, the very same day. So, I crashed in the same spot he recorded the day he gave a shout out to the guy I saw after I crashed that started me motovlogging. Interesting circle. I mean, I really think it is. I, I don't know if it means anything or not, but when I discovered that, I'm like, man, that is, that is just bizarre. I mean, it really is. I wonder if my bike's even going to start after this crap. Uh, and uh, I wanted to come down here and, and retrace his steps. And this is pretty extreme. I didn't think it was going to be this hard to retrace his steps, to be honest. Oh, look at that sucker. That is a giant freaking bee. Okay. Oh man, what gear am I in? That sucker stings me. I am uh, screwed. Not that I'm allergic or anything, but holy crap. You should have seen the size of that sucker. All right, we made it. So anyway, after that video and that shout out and, uh, and uh, Kalani got started, he, he did something really cool which is um, send a gift to him. So I thought it would be really neat if I did something to give back, you know, to give back to them, to, uh, to those two guys, you know. Um, actually, I, was, I talked to Dan Moto too, damn Moto 73, and uh, I sent him some PMs and stuff, and talked to him a little bit about things, and and I was going to send him something too, actually, because, you know, they're, it's just all so closely related with those guys, and, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't want anything, he sent me a nice long letter, and talked about stuff, and, and I tell you, him and Sven were good friends, and he seems like an incredible guy, I, I really wish I could have met him. This is going to be my gift to uh, to everybody by way of Sven. And this box is a couple pieces of dice. This is the first... Uh, I can go on to this. I took some pictures of these dice when I went to Costa Rica. It was my not knowing what's going to happen, flying by the seat of the pants, rolling the dice sort of thing. 
So those were a big deal to me. So I'm gonna put them in there and then I'm gonna use this as a geocache. I got this thing here. And uh, there's a sign sheet there, geocache log. And I'm gonna put up some coordinates. And uh, I'm gonna put this thing up at hill. Some place where it won't get disturbed, obviously. <laughs> and uh, hard to get to. And, and I hope somebody finds it. I'm gonna put the coordinates up. And I think this is a good way to kind of tribute to him. Um, you know, and I didn't know the guy, and I'm going to pretend like I did. And I don't want people to get offended that I'm trying to do stuff for a guy that, you know, everybody else is their friend and, and his, you know, what knew him. And I didn't know him. And I, I, I want to tread lightly with this here, but also show my respect. And, and I hope this does it. So uh, I'm going to go place this thing. And I'm going to talk about some other stuff. No, so what about uh, what about AB then? Well, I didn't forget about him. I got him some new gloves. Yeah, you know he likes his gloves. So I got him some new moose. These are nice, aren't they? They're very cool. And uh, oh yeah, I stuck this in here too. Caliente. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't know why that's funny, um, I'll have to put a link up to my other video because uh, this is pretty funny. How the heck are we gonna get out of here? There's there's different ways. Um, there's that way, or I can just turn around and go out the trails where all the other people go. But I'm not gonna do that because <laughs> that just doesn't make good TV. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this is some good stuff. <laughs> And that is, that's going to be a good little challenge right there. That's going to be a good little challenge. There we are. Come on. Oh! 